Hello and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1, joined here with my sibling, Mots. Hi! Uh, and we have uh, disguised ourselves as uh, an artist to go break into his house. Yeah. Also, Happy New Year. Yes. This will probably be up way past this, New Year. This but, is you know. being recorded on New Year's Day, so. Mm-hmm. Boniface, sweetie. Is that you? Ah. Old age does terrible things to one's sight. I didn't recognize you at first. How are you, Mum? I I'm ashamed to admit that I've lost my key. Do you have a spare? For heaven's sake! How many times will you lose that key of yours? Of course I have a spare. You artists all live in your own little world. Please, accept my thanks. I would rather accept your rent. <laughs> you promised to pay me several weeks ago and I'm still waiting. I will pay you, I promise, very soon. You'd better do, my dear. Or else I'll just change the lock. And I won't fall for those cow eyes. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Part of me was wondering if Sherlock was going to pay <laughs> yeah. uh, Mercutio's rent. <laughs> Luckily, no. Or maybe unluckily. I don't know. Good job. I have no uh, idea. Try that door? Well, hang on. Do I have like a... Okay. Oh I my god, did the... you need the key? Yes. No. Oh! Oh no! There may have been a murder. Oh no! There has definitely been a murder. I'm 90% sure this is a murder and not a very strange, um... My performance art. Okay, but are we going to pretend John is not on the ceiling? What? What? <laughs> John! John, get down. Get down from there, John. John, there's a dead man. It's the perfect time to start painting the dead man. Nice angle. I'm gonna look at this, uh... The blood has dried. Oh. I've heard of this style of painting. It is called expressionism. It's called murder, John. John, this is murder. I honestly don't know where to start. Uh, wow, there's blood on like a mirror over there. You see it? Yeah. I guess we should check the body. Body's always a good place to start. The wound is precise. Oh. It was inflicted by a razor or a knife. Yeah. Rocks? Soaked in blood. Oh, maybe. Rags. It seems Rags. as if the puddle of blood was here before the rags. Has someone tried to clean it? And... Yeah. Judging by post mortem rigidity, the body lay here for one or two days. Holy smokes, okay. it's been here. Bruises on the knuckle. Usually means oh. that he fought back. He's got some probably broken bones there. There's nothing Find to say it. about them, though. Okay, maybe not. Maybe they're just structured weird. Hmm. Oh, knife. Oh, a knife! Could be the murder weapon. It could have been left here. A normal kitchen knife. I mean, is either supposed to be telling us that... I bet the uh, murderer left the knife there to be like, oh no, he totally slit his own throat. You know, artists it up like that. Yeah. <laughs> some rags. <laughs> you know. I'd completely buy that. Red skin, tails on the back, reminds me of Verda's description of the stolen painting. Yeah. yeah it looks like the stolen painting to me. The chest has been searched. Aunt May whiskey, brandy bucks. Quite a collection he had here. Oh, mm -hmm. got a camera. I wonder where he got that fancy camera. Despite the overall tendency towards mess, you cannot sit with the drawer pulled out like this. 
someone left it after searching. Yes. Interesting. It appears the wine was truly awful. <laughs> No knife. Okay, so that might be where the knife yeah. was. Ooh, cloth fiber. Someone wearing blue. Yeah. Hit that mirror. Oh. That's no, okay. Okay. Let's go into the red room. Oh, it's a it, it's yeah, for it's, uh, it's it, a dark room. It's a dark room. It's also a bathroom. The photograph was not pulled out in time. Such a waste of material. The SWAT mods, though. Oh. Yeah. Look at this, John. Isn't it our stolen demon? Anything on the back? Uh, no. Oh, it's new. It probably. But uh, this, uh, this, this looks like, uh, at least to me, it looks like the uh, artist dungeon that Vogel has. It does look like it could be the artist dungeon. Because like there, there's like has. some sconces on the wall. There's like pictures. It could have been that area actually where the fire was. Yeah. Which uh, like, our our dead friend here might. Than be the demon in that uh, picture. Mm -mm. Uh, John's off the ceiling. Oh, good. Now I'm concerned where John went. There's nothing back here, anyways. Oh. It seems. Yeah, I was about to say, do the little swift thing. Oh, that wasn't blood. It was a just a, a creepy skull. A skull with red lighting. <laughs> I think the red lighting's uh, leaking in from the other room. <laughs> it's bleeding in. Okay, John, I'm gonna go... Lay down. I don't think I should lay on this, this floor. This seems like a bad idea. Don't. Sherlock, wait. Uh, he's just gonna okay. sit. It's okay. Sherlock has enough sense to know not to lay on anything uh, like here or in that uh, underground like gallery. That's just, that's just asking for something. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, so possibly he came out because he heard someone rummaging through his stuff. That would make sense. Or him looking at the painting. He could have been looking at the painting. Let's leave this here. Yeah, I feel like there's a second person here, you know? <gasps> Okay, okay, right, I so, can see that. Yeah. That would he tried to, to bash them. They grabbed a knife. Yeah. <gasps> that, uh, I don't think he definitely was definitely was him. <gasps> yeah, I definitely think it was him. I don't think he was wearing blue. I think he's wearing white. Yeah, I, he, he's literally wearing that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got shanked. Down. No, no, I definitely. Yes. Yeah, okay, so so guaranteed we know that he was outside though. Yeah, and I mean that makes sense because there's a photograph that's left in the development. Okay, that looks like maybe trying to keep him from dying with maybe. the rag. Oh. But I don't think that's the case. I think, uh, like Sherlock said, it... Looked like it was being cleaned. But not, not that it would look like it was being cleaned. I think he said that the the uh, rag was used, like, afterwards, wasn't it? Correct. I believe so. Oh. Hey, I actually can uh, pull this up. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm not allowed to look at this information, though. Uh, it, does, it just says uh, bloody racks nearby. Doesn't give uh, his exact 
Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. No, oh, no. no. It's fine. It's fine. I I've I've banished it away. <laughs> you saw nothing. Okay, is this what we think happened? Okay, so he was developing. He yeah. heard a noise. He, he heard ran heard someone out. rummaging through his stuff. He attacked the person. With a bottle. With a bottle. The person grabbed a knife, fought back, um... Slashed him across the throat. <laughs> and then, like, was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I think this is probably what happened. If it's not, then I feel it's the last one yeah. first. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. Okay. Change okay, that last so. one. Okay. Mercurio was developing photographs when the intruder snuck in. Mercurio heard him coming. While the thief was searching the chest, the painter ran towards him with a bottle in his hand. He smashed it across the thief's head. The intruder had no choice but to defend himself, and the weapon of opportunity happened to be a kitchen knife. Mercurio stepped aside to grab the painting, but the wine-blinded thief attacked Mercurio's throat. When the thief came to his senses, he saw Mercurio bleeding on the floor. He grabbed the rags and tried to bandage him, but it was too late. Why did Mercurio attempt to snatch the painting in the middle of a fight? To strike the intruder? Not with his painting, it was too important to him. Hmm. Interesting. He has a good point. It's time for some chemical magic, John. <laughs> okay. So we can do a uh, little, little chemistry there. Mm -mm. Let's get that uh, done, then we'll check out the mind palace. Sounds good. Okay. Negative three red, negative four. Four, green, five, blue. Hmm. Oh, this one might be more tricky. Yes. Well, straight away, we could do the three and then reverse it. Yeah. Hmm. Mantis is carefully considering all of her options. <laughs> I don't know how to do math very well, so I'm going to just sort of quietly see if I can think about it but I no guarantees here I, I, because like that would create negative four correct yeah, uh, that, uh, but you still yeah, but then, need it, the it, negative it, three yeah it ends up with the wrong numbers hmm how many well you got three of each for the chemical operation so it can get kind of complicated oh we also have this this will uh, reduce the number. Oh, there you go. Okay, okay, that might that might uh, help. Could you put the negative five on the board for me? This one? Yeah. Can you place it through the reduce one just to see what happens? Negative six. Negative six. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. I wanted to know if it would go down or up. Okay, yeah. So you can take that off. Um, if it lets you. Oh, I can double click to delete. That's handy. That is handy. Okay, so let's see. There's probably multiple ways to do this. Yeah. I, I, so let's not be too afraid to, to play around. If I connect these two, mm -hmm. and I run them through a plus one, that gets us negative four, positive five. Ah, excellent, excellent. And then, Take the three, three. Do a switchy switch. Yeah. There you go. That's the ticket. That's what you needed. You can put that back. <laughs> there we go. Now, now they're getting, uh, <laughs> now they're getting tricky. <laughs> now they're getting tricky. <laughs> it's a still life of Mer Kushio's room. Um, oh, wait. There's a missing skull. That's interesting. Maybe it's on the floor? <laughs> Maybe. Why? Why would he be so specific about a still life of the room? Uh, that doesn't look like the painting we need, Sherry. As expected, but that doesn't mean it won't tell us anything. Let's put it on the easel where it belongs. 
I mean, I, I, I can see it, Sherlock. It's, <laughs> it's right there, Sherlock. Sherlock! I mm. guess this is his most ordinary painting. Spot the two differences, John. Well, there's a skull. Is there a second difference? I guess this is his most ordinary painting. Spot the two differences, John. Is it I mean, the lack of desk? <laughs> if the intruder didn't take it, the skull should be somewhere here. Okay. Oh, the pegs in the corner. <laughs> oh, that's helpful. Thank you, game. I'm sorry I didn't notice that. Didn't, didn't even think about it. Uh, oh, wait, oh. That, that isn't a table. That's the rug. This thing. What about? Oh, there's a coat. Nothing behind it. Oh, there we go. No. I'm pretty sure it's not present, but um. Could you back up? Uh, kind of just get like a ground view. Is it the portrait on the wall? No, there's a portrait in the corner. Hmm. Yeah, but it, is it the same one? It's hard to tell, but. Oh, it must be. Hey, you put in the, uh, the skull, the missing skull. Uh, let me see, uh, candlestick in the right place? Yeah, it's in the right place. Yeah. Uh, there's a bottle and a wine glass. Uh, it's still, it has this thing lit up. Yeah, and it looks like it's the diff it's different in the thing, but it, he's not saying anything else about it. Unless the, he was pointing out that it is different, but there's nothing, you know. I guess this is his most ordinary painting. Hmm. Spot the two differences, John. Let's, let's take a look at it. Oh. <laughs> not helpful, huh? Where is John? <laughs> John, you uh, you back here? Nope, he he just left. I feel like there is more evidence in this location. If the intruder didn't take it, the skull should be somewhere here. Okay. Fair. Okay, so are we supposed to be looking for the skull then? Oh, maybe that's it. We're supposed to be looking for the skull. Uh, hey, there it is. Monster oh. was actually a man. Poor girl. John, you ought to be thrilled. We are now hunting the devil himself. What the fuck does uh, any what of that? What were you mean? saying, Sherry? I was too busy sketching the scene, you know, crimes and such like, <laughs> daily routine. Did you find something? A photograph. It depicts a man in a red suit with tails sprouting from his back and multiple people in masks watching the scene. It all adds up, but the act of love, it wasn't given willingly, John. It was a violation, and the girl, she was with child. Give that to me now. Did you recognize someone? No, although the victim is not from Cordona, she is African. Look at the ritual scars on her face. Get that image out of your brain. You have to continue the investigation. I must speak to the landlady. Perhaps she saw or heard something. Sherry, you cannot tell her the truth about Mercurio. It will hurt her. John, that's illogical. <laughs> Sooner or later, she will come here and discover a corpse, and I still need to talk to her. Just avoid mentioning corpse, all right? Stick to the character, tell her to call the police. I'll take that into account. And wait <laughs> here. I've redrawn the people in the photograph. Now you can proceed with your investigation without those horrific details. Okay. Okay, so what I gather from that, and I don't know if you're gonna have to censor this, but um the, the woman who was in the painting was inspired by an actual event that likely Mercutio 
was a part of because he photographed it, which was likely the uh, of a um, African American woman. That's what I got from that. Yeah. Uh, again, I don't know if you'll have to like you know censor that or not. But uh, definitely. Yeah. I mean, I can say other words of assault. I don't know if it's assault with assault work. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. There's um, the the assault of. Uh... Uh, a, a woman of African descent of some sort. Yeah. Did I say African American? Yes. Whoopsie. Sorry. Uh, okay, but... Oh. Mm. Uh, so sticking character uh, is, is John's bet here. Okay. Uh... Take a look at. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I was thinking. Entirely possible. Didn't want to kill him. Yeah, I think that's fair. I don't think those things no. do. No. I mean, no. No. Like my thought would be, oh, uh, oh, uh, we could make the assumption it might be the, the same person. The, yeah. Yeah, I, I think there's just not enough yet that connects them. That, like, that's fair to at least give it a shot. Yeah. This is uh, uh, stuff that happened last time. Yeah. Okay. You always take me to the best of places, Sherry. <laughs> okay, so... Anything else here? I don't think so. I don't think so. Shall we uh, head out then? Yeah. What's wrong, dear? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> Your options are who entered my flat recently and just to immediately tell her. <laughs> so we're going to stay in character, right? Yeah. Can you tell me if anyone else has recently entered the flat? Oh, you're talking about that mm. limping man. Mm. I'm sorry I let him in. I was scared. And I thought maybe, maybe he would motivate you to find money so that you would pay your rent. No offense, dear. Can you describe him? Oh, so you weren't at home. I was so certain you didn't leave your flat that day. He was of average height, had a limp and a tattoo on his neck, and he was smoking Malpal cigarettes. Yeah. My husband used to smoke those. They have a horrible smell I can recognize from a mile away. Okay, okay, so, as suspected, the thief is the one that came to Mercurio's, uh, flat. Yeah, exactly. Same person. Uh, so call the police. Yeah, call the police. Can I ask a favor? Of course, dearie. Please call the police and ask them to enter the flat, and don't look inside until they come up. What? What trouble have you stepped in this time? It really doesn't matter. Thank you, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> Star slide out before she asks oh, questions. Sherry, that was yeah. close. But you did everything correctly. Now, take off your outfit. I can't let you walk around in a dead man's clothes. John, are you smoking? Stop that right now, John. <laughs> Don't blow smoke in our face. <laughs> Poor chap. Okay. So now, I need to find someone to ask about this. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's yeah. a fair conclusion. Okay. Who can we ask? I have no... We I would try thought, Vogel. That was my guess. Is like, we could try Vogel. He is an art person. He was housing, like, the uh, Mercutio's um, works. I knew how controversial he was. Yeah. That's, like, just down the road. Mm -hmm. Although it is, like, a question of ask people around. Not so much ask a specific person. This is a good point. I um, think we should still try and talk to Vogel. Yeah. And then maybe look for people who might know her. Yeah. Although who that might be, I have no idea. Vogel, good news, bad news. What are we looking at? I think I'll leave the exhibition in its current state for a while. I'll call it the art of vandalism. Okay, I no will, help. <laughs> I will not tell him about finding the painting and the dead artist. <laughs> Looks like you won't. <laughs> I leave that for a little surprise for when he reads about it in the newspaper. Yeah. Uh, okay. May I ask you something? The streets won't share their secrets with those who hide in fancy houses. Okay, okay, fair enough. We're we too well dressed. We're too pretty. We gotta look more like a worker or someone down to earth, you know? Yeah. Why are there never any, like, good places to, to duck in to disguise yourself? It's a very busy street, you know, Cordona. This could work, right? Yeah. I've got to learn the, uh... uh here's the, the abuser. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, got to, uh, got, 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 got to learn the shortcut for open wardrobe specifically. <laughs> mm -mm. Okay. Now let's try asking about. Excuse me, sir. Sir. Do you know anything about this? You are standing in my way. Get lost. I'm standing behind you. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> <laughs> what about, uh, the guy standing right there? That guy? Uh, well, sure, why not? Oh, which guy are you referring to? There was, um, if you turn around, like right there. That guy? That guy. Why not? Uh, that's definitely a thug. Oh. Look at the number of knives he has. He does have a lot of knives. You're right, that's like five knives. This guy's rather fancily dressed. Yeah, maybe not that guy. We can also use, like, our vision to kind of see if we can make sure to yeah. pick, like, the right person. Secret, Secret society, society member. She might know things. <laughs> oh, John. Not with alcohol. John. Why do I feel like John's getting more like depressed or like agitated as the story goes on? Yes. May I ask you something? Hey? Of course I know. Hey. To cut a long story short. Awesome. Okay. I, I, I thought he might know because I uh, mentioned, uh, like his description mentioned Zulu. Yeah. Uh, the scars of the girl's face seem to be from, uh... You? You? I think. Uh, I could be wrong. tribe. This where you can find used people in Cordona's refugee camp located under Victoria Bridge between Skaldeo and Silverton. Okay. Okay. Thank you, dude. Alright, let's see. Yeah, Zulu Diver. Mm -mm. Okay. Uh, Victoria Bridge. Where's Sil Silverton? Oh, here right it is. There. Iron Bridge, Thor Bridge. So many bridges. This must be, yeah. And then, where was it from here? It's under the bridge. Oh, it's under the bridge, okay. <laughs> yeah. At least that's not too uh, far from City Hall. No, nope. straight shot looks like, or mostly straight. T 
teeth and gum sets. Okay. Are we on Victorian Bridge? We are above it. Okay, so we need to go below it. Yeah. Oh, oh the Drinking Dutchman. That's neat. Excellent uh, fast travel point. Mm-hmm. Just in case uh, we don't manage to find a way down to them. <laughs> Does this poster truly claim that Cordona has a ghost? <sighs> Unholy howls huh. keeping you inside at night? Luigi can help. All ghosts gone. Meet on Southern Pier of the Silverton Port. Donations gratefully accepted. This town loves the supernatural, but all I see is another scam to disprove. The world shrivels under a skeptic's eye. That's why you're so sullen, Sherry. You leave no room for delight in the magical. I delight in making the unknown known. Let us begin by asking someone about the poster and then pay this Luigi a visit to the port. Come, let's continue on your quest for the truth. Well, we'll have to do that uh, another time. Mm. We've got uh, refugees to uh, search for. Yeah. be on the wrong side of the bridge. I think so. I mean, we got a new case, which is nice, but I'll... Uh, Did you win? Another mm -hmm. Gossip? Gossip? Why the sailor drowned? Okay. Suckos. Chips are well. I can never tell with these things. Did you hear another sailor? So, Saw a Ghost is one of them. Yeah. No, it wasn't Saw a Ghost. Oh, it was the a siren. siren. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I knew it was like something supernatural and like I latched onto ghosts, so I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. The the, the ghosts is uh the other case that we were looking at. Mm -mm. Yeah, they're they're down there. Oh okay. We yeah. jump. <laughs> yeah, how do we get down there? Maybe maybe if we try on the other side of the bridge. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Stairs. Beasts! Excuse what me. are you doing, ma'am? Chill out. Oh, you look oh. hostile. <laughs> what, okay, what's going on? What I walked too close and it entered a cutscene. <laughs> what's happening? A bunch of wealthy people are yelling at uh, police who are barely keeping them uh, at bay. Murderers! Because that's why I gathered. <laughs> They're completely livid. First they come to our land, then they murder our people. Drop them all into the sea! Well, this is very... We have been surrounded by xenophobes. Oh. Yep. <laughs> oh. I love, like, this one, like, butler. <laughs> Poor dude. Getting his statement taken. <laughs> excuse me, uh, excuse me. Nothing, nothing suspicious. Over here, I'm just uh, gonna step to the side. Yes, I am an officer. <laughs> I'm an officer. Let us approach as uh, as Holmes. <laughs> Do we get any uh, information? No. <laughs> we might end up having to dress up as an officer, but let's see if we can. Are uh, you that. able to help me? Nothing I can tell you, sir, but others might know more. Okay. You look like uh, someone that might know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Sir, this place is off limits to the public. Please state your business or leave, or I shall request that the police escort you out. 
Hmm. I mean, you're not from City Hall, that's a no. lie. Private investigator, then? Yeah. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm a private investigator. I'm looking for a witness for a case. A private investigator? Really? Even so, you're not authorized. I can't let you in. And you are? I'm Ronald Harlow, here to handle the refugee situation on behalf of City Hall. I'm the acting supervisor here, so I have full authority here to ask you to leave, or I shall order the police to detain you for trying to pass the blockade. Please, step back. Okay, so what we should do is maybe go back, get in a police uniform, and then walk over. Alternatively, I could be like, Hi, uh, you didn't hear me the first time. I'm a private investigator. I work for the police. <laughs> so, what's going on? Or should I go and ask the station? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Works indoors on uh, poor lighting. <laughs> Pretty sure that he probably hasn't slept much. Yeah. <laughs> Tries to appear older. <laughs> Overdressed. You're making him sound like he's kind of a novice, but he's trying to like look. I I think he know. might be a novice that's trying to look out. I know what I'm doing. Don't be mad at me. He's not wearing socks. <laughs> Clean shoes. Yeah, no, this is. Uh... <laughs> hey, uh, Ronald Harlow is a pale young clerk who tries his best to oversee a refugee camp assigned to him by City Hall. He's not very happy with such a responsibility, but he always does things by the book and executes all tasks he is given. However, he lacks the experience to deal with problems outside his writing desk. He is attempting to look older than his years by growing a scant mustache. Pale skin and bags under his eyes suggest he works at a poorly lit office, which he rarely leaves, judging by his clean, barely worn shoes. He craves to look authoritative by wearing smart clothes, but his look is out of place considering Cordona's weather. Sweaty palms suggest Ronald is extremely stressed by being outside his comfort zone. Entirely or, possible. He is a depressed young clerk, exhausted by his day-to-day -day job. The city halls assigned him to oversee the refugee camp, and he's too tired and indifferent to solve the problems that arise. <laughs> he has a scant mustache, which he thinks makes him look older. Pale skin and bags under his eyes suggest he's tired of his dark, cramped office, which he rarely leaves. Yet judging by his clean, barely worn shoes, he does not favor the outdoors in any case. Sweaty palms just Ronald is stressed. He might have uh, worn fewer clothes considering today's weather. Um, I feel like the first one? Yeah. The first one? That's what I say. What about the murder that this crowd keeps shouting about? It's mere assumption. I assure you that the situation is under the police's control. I know you want to deal with this in the right way. You are obviously a professional and a responsible person, but you clearly have never handled a situation like this before. I am handling it, Mr. Holmes. Don't question my capability here. And tell me how you do it. You can't even calm this gathered crowd, and as for the police, they're not quite managing it either, are they? You consider yourself a problem solver, but until today, you've been solving problems sitting at your desk in a dark corner of a city hall room. Here, you need a more practical approach. What are you driving at, Mr. Holmes? I can help you. I can help you. I can help you to handle the situation if you're truly interested in solving things quickly and quietly. And how exactly would you manage that? Simply tell the police that I'm with City Hall and I'm permitted to investigate the scene. I'll work out the rest, but in return I need your help finding my witness. She's a young refugee. She's with child or was with child recently. Look, there is indeed a dead body inside the camp. So even if the girl you are looking for is there, all the refugees are now being detained and interrogated by the police. They won't allow you to speak with her, and I can't do anything about that until the situation settles down. So it's in our mutual interest to settle it. Oh. I suppose that things are bad enough that I ought not shy away from help. All right, Mr. Holmes. I'll tell the police to allow you to come inside. Just tell me when you're ready. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll probably wrap up with talking to him and then have to stop for that. Today. I think that's fair. Mr. Harlow, how did the refugees end up here? Oh, 
So you're not from around here yourself? I've been away for some time. But I read the papers. Yes, this whole story has been in the papers for almost a year now. They were smuggled to Cordona on a ship from Africa. Smuggled? Then why didn't you deport them? The smugglers managed to sneak them to shore and hide them inside an abandoned warehouse. When the police raided the warehouse and found the refugees there, the ship was already gone. We aren't even certain as to which ship it was. We have busy shipping routes with other colonies these days, you see. So you decided to lock them up under a bridge? There was no other option. We're still trying to work out what to do with them. I only hope we'll find a humane solution and not put them on a raft and float them out to sea. I'm 90% certain there were other options other than stay in this warehouse. Oh, no, there <laughs> definitely were other options, but like, from what it sounds like, you, you have the already incredibly classist society of Cordona, and like, City Hall's just like, heh heh, how are we supposed to deal with the humanitarian crisis when like, we have a bunch of, like, wealthy Brits over there yelling, oh, just get rid of them. You put your fucking foot down! <laughs> But then the governor won't be re-elected. Oh, boo fucking who? <laughs> Mr. Harlow, what exactly do you do here? What are your responsibilities? What I do and what I am responsible for are two different realities, Mr. Holmes. On paper, I am in charge of the camp territory, security, provision, and the refugees in general. What I actually do most of the time is knock on every city hall door trying to obtain some funding, or at least rations for the camp. The police here on city hall's behalf too. They are, minus those who came here after the body was found. The governor won't let the refugees disperse into the island, so there's a significant police presence guarding the camp. Naturally, they answer directly to the police. I have some influence here, but I'm not their direct authority. Okay. So he, he was put in charge of dealing with this crisis, yeah. and then they're like, cool, figure it out. Yeah. And proceeded to go do their own thing. Yeah. He's just like, could, could, could I have some help? No. Could I have some money? No. Can, can you give me any direction? No. <laughs> Why would we do that? We, that's, we put you in charge of that. You deal with it. <laughs> you deal with it. I'm ready to go in, but not actually. <laughs> I'm ready to take a look at the scene. All right. Go inside the camp and find Inspector Chooksbury. He's the officer investigating the scene. Tell him I sent you. Say you're an independent expert from City Hall. He'll fill in the details for you. I'll find my way with words. Thank you, Mr. Harlow. Perfect. Excellent. Also, this is exactly what it sounds like to try to talk to someone while, like, a stadium crowd is, like, yelling or something. Yes. It's like, that, that crowd volume level was kind of making me struggle a little bit there. Yeah. <laughs> so... Uh, we're going to have to stop there for today. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed. Mm -hmm. uh, have fun running all the way back here. Oh. I, you'll just be on top of the bridge. So okay, it'll be fine. Walk down. <laughs> it shouldn't take too long. It'll be fine. I, I don't know if you, you cut, like, us having to walk all the way back, but we always teleport to a fast travel point when yes. we load the game. It's lovely. Murder. Oh, good, the pause menu shuts them up. <laughs> oh, thank goodness! Ah, oh, sweet silence. <laughs> wardrobe is I? <laughs> wardrobe, wardrobe is, is I. I. Okay. Cool. I. Wardrobe. Interesting. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Later.